Hello again everyone, this is Papa Smurf here. I'm going to show you what I've learned in 30 years. I'm an old retired bricklayer and I've never laid styrofoam bricks before. I'm going to show you how to score it, mark it, measure it, and paint it. Okay, let's go. When making brickwork for these models, it's significant to know that these bricks in this miniature building are half inch in length. So we're going to make some marks. This is just the thickness of the brick and they're not half inch. They are quarter inch in thickness. So we'll make all these marks up here. Now down here, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. Once those are marked, the next step that I usually take is to connect the dots. Indent with the pencil. That is your mortar joint that you're creating. You can see the lines of brickwork starting to take shape. Putting in these individual bricks, well, it's not quite so straightforward. If this is your brick on the bottom, your bottom row of brick, if it's like this, one brick, then the next, and the next, and the next, etc. And if this is a normal running bond, what's the brick up there going to be? Well, it's going to be there. I'll show you. This one up here, the brick on top of it, has to be there. And there. And there. There we have a row of bricks. But what does this row of bricks look like? Well, it's supposed to go over here. So we have to make marks up here, about halfway between the bricks. See the start of our running bond? Every time we line up our ruler, we're creating another brick. But not here, we're creating the running bond. As it starts here, a full brick, then another full brick. And we go across the whole sheet like that. It's very straightforward, however, just like in real bricklaying, you can make a mistake and then that mistake will live there forever. It lives to haunt you forever. Very hard to remove. The beauty of this pencil is not only does it make the indentations that you need, it also marks them. So you can see when you start to paint your brickwork. Don't make a mistake because bricklayers have an expression. It's called do it right the first time. So there you have it. There is running bond. One brick on top of a half of a brick and so on and so forth. The first step in painting is to take the gray paint that you use for the mortar joints and apply that first. Get it well into those joints so that no white styrofoam is showing out. It doesn't really matter if the surface of these bricks are painted with the gray, but it's very important that every bit of white that might show through those mortar joints is painted gray. And we're done. We'll take a break for a while while the paint is drying. Now that the mortar joints are dry, it's time to use the other color, the color of the bricks. Bricks can be so many different colors, but I choose a more traditional kind of color. This color is called holiday red. Very important, don't get any of this red paint in the mortar joint. Be very, very careful about that. Because if you do, you have to get out some gray and paint them all over again. So what I do, for the most amount of control, I only paint about half of the brick at a time, as you can see here. Trying to avoid those mortar joints. There's many ways to do this. Some painters would have a different method, maybe even superior to this method. But this is what I find works for me. It works the best. 
I want maximum control. That's my uh, objective. The indent that the pencil has made has made each one of these bricks slightly curved. It goes down into the groove there and it goes down that way. So when I'm painting these, I'm actually painting the very beginning of the slope as it goes down. Let's flip that around and try this side. Okay, just a little bit. See right there where the red paint has started to get into that mortar joint a little bit? That's what we're trying to avoid, if we can. Well, I'm a fussy bricklayer. I like to do the best job I can possibly do and do it right the first time. That is the expression. What I also like to do after I've painted this far is flip it and take a look and you can see where the mortar joints are starting to round a little bit, where you can actually put a little bit more paint on the brick without getting it into the mortar joint. It makes a more full brick. It's actually more of the brick that should be painted to make it look more like a brick. Right into the joint, but not deeply into the joint. You don't want to paint the mortar joint. Important to paint every single part of the brick in order to make it look like a brick, the finished product. Like these little bits that have been missed here, the very round of the brick as it's starting to descend into the mortar joint. Oh yeah, they're starting to look like bricks now. This is time consuming stuff, but if you're like me and you love to build things and create things, then it's just pure enjoyment. What else could you call it when you're making something? Now that all parts of this brickwork have been painted as much as we possibly can, it's really starting to look like brickwork now. I'm going to zoom through to the end. The top parts of the brick there, as it starts to round and go into the mortar joint, that's all I'm trying to do at this point in time, because the bricks are painted. They just need to be finished up a little bit here and there, as you can see. In building your model brick house, in building your wall, you can leave it like this if that's the effect that you want. However, I prefer a different effect. I like to take some of the orange, or rouge as it's called here, 50% rouge, 50% holiday red, and mix it all up. But what I like to do, get as much of this paint off as I can, I'm going to get my wall and just do dry brushing. And the drier the brush, the better. It avoids anguish. I don't want to paint those mortar joints if I can help it. See that old withered condition of the bricks? It looks like an old, old wall. That's the effect that I'm looking for. Very lightly, try to avoid getting any paint at all in those mortar joints. It doesn't take long to do this. You're just slapping them on like that. Very little paint. There's that old weathered effect that I prefer. Now mind you, this is just a sample. This is not this gorgeous little brick house that I built. That's a different effect altogether. But that'll be coming up in a forthcoming video. Well, that was just the sample on how to make brickwork with this styrofoam board. I like the look of it. If you like the look of it and would like to make buildings with this material, with this look, then subscribe for upcoming videos to Papa Smurf at miniwargaming.com. Thanks.